Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Welcome back to my channel, Yanta's Universe. It's me, Yanta. Welcome new viewers and subscribers to our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can leave me a comment and leave me a love donation. This is going to be your weekly reading, Fire Signs. I'm going to pull a message for the collective Fire Signs. Then I'm going to break off in Aries, Leo, and Sag um, individually. And they will be time stamped, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Please keep me safe. Give me clear honest messages for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages do you have for the beautiful fire signs? Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. And only the ones I've called upon are welcome here. Ancestors, protect me. Keep me safe. Overstrike this reading. I share. Thank you, universe. Okay, this is for the fire signs. Mm, a lot of healing energy fire signs you have confidence in this moment i take a step back and look at myself with the pride of a good mother i see an abundance of abilities and talents that show up all the time in big and little ways if i could stick myself on a refrigerator i would <laughs> i would invite all the neighbors over and say look at that can you believe what an a plus that is so be confident in, your, in yourself Love yourself how a mother would. And if you don't know how, then love yourself the way that you wish that you were always loved. Be confident in yourself. This yellow is a lot of healing for you, fire signs. I like it. So you're worth showing off. You're worth being honored, being praised. You're worth being patronized. Let's jump into the individual signs. Let's start with Leo. Let's start with Leo. Sierra, what messages do you have for Leo? The Eight of Swords. Why are you stuck in your head? What are you overthinking? Okay, trying to find the confidence. Four of Swords, you've been resting, taking some time out, recuperating, nailed that coffin shut. But for some reason, you keep thinking about it. Oh, Leo. Three of Swords, what is this? Give me one more for Leo. The Eight of Pentacles. You've been trying to forget about all of this pain and frustration and sadness depression anxiety paranoia you're in by just working 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 we have two eights here eight eight clarify the eight of swords for leo oh my gosh the five of wands leo what headspace are you in my loves what is this conflict and defeat not feeling confident at all Clarify the Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands for Leo. The Hangman with the Pisces. Maybe you're stuck in your head because you want good news. You want love. You want passion and romance and things like that. But you're not getting it. I mean, it's, you're stuck in your head and you're wondering, is it me? Is it me? Am I the one? Clarify the hangman. The four of wands. No, it's not you. Spirit is protecting you. It's not you. Well, it is you, Leo. Spirit is protecting you. <laughs> it's you in a good way. Be confident, okay? Can't just anybody come up to a king or a queen? Okay? Not at all. Can't, everybody's not in a relationship with the king everybody's not in a relationship with the queen everybody doesn't have spiritual connections with the god or the goddess clarify this four of swords for leo ace of swords truth and clarity once you get out of this shell of hiding yourself because i feel like this four of swords is you hiding yourself shutting yourself off in a coffin and not showing people the real true authentic you spirit is going to find you anyway you see this you thought that you could hide around? No. Spirit said, get up out of there. <laughs> Be confident. So I'm seeing exactly the Queen of Wands, Leo. Spirit is going to do something or orchestrate some type of situation that's going to make you be you, a lion. 
big and loud, loud and proud, a beautiful, courageous lion. So I see you're in your head because you're in some type of situation and you have to be yourself. There's nobody else you can be, Leo. Clarify the Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords for Leo. The Ace of Pentacles. We already have two new beginnings here, Leo. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Swords for Leo. Healing. Oh, there's healing in this. There's healing in loving yourself the way that you need to be loved. Clarify the Three of Swords and the Star for Leo. Three of Cups. Oh, there's healing. Definitely. So I'm seeing these new people will accept you better than those old people. If anybody didn't accept you or shunned you or ostracized you or was nice to you one day and fake to you the next day, you're not going through that no more. Not doing that no more. Time for healing with the star. Be vulnerable. The star is a vulnerable, just exposed, out in the open type card, type energy. You're opposite. So you have to be open, but vulnerable, out there in the open. Clarify the eight of pentacles for Leo. And it could be at your job. We have the devil. You've been overworking. Overworking. Five of swords. Conflict and defeat. Clarify the eight of pentacles and the devil for Leo. Three of pentacles, six of swords. You always go back and forth. You always leave, then come back. Leave, then come back. Leave, then come back. Should I work on it? Should I not? Should I work on it? Should I not? You can't make up your mind. You've always done that, Leo. You've always been. I'm I'm just here to tell you, I'm a Leo. I do it. I'm, and I cannot stand when I do that. Should have did what you said you was going to do in the first place. Should have had your boundaries up in the first place. You should have moved on and not looked back like you said the first time. And now it's the 20th time you done moved on, but you done went back. Okay? Could be dealing with the Capricorn. I see Spirit is shedding a light on that. Spirit don't want you doing that no more. He said, be the emperor that you're supposed to be. Or the empress that you're supposed to be. Okay, clarify the devil. Clarify the devil for Leo. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Clarify the devil. The Knight of Swords. Somebody's lying. It's cussing. Five of Swords. Lying, cussing, yelling, bickering, arguing. About what? Clarify the Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Some type of money? Is somebody stealing money? So I'm seeing this Capricorn or this air sign could possibly be tricking you, triggering you possibly trying to trick you but triggering you making you angry trying to get you to not be confident in yourself it's just because they're jealous so someone could be jealous and so your theme this week leo is learning how to be confident and loving yourself no matter what it doesn't matter if they are or aren't jealous the main reason why leo shrinks themselves is because they care too much of people um and what they have to say they don't want people to be jealous because you always you want to make friends leo you, you want people to like you you want to make friends you don't want people to think you're cocky you don't want people to think that you know you think that you're better than them but even on the inside you still think you're better than them anyway but you don't want them to know that but damn leo you got to figure this shit out so i'm seeing spirit is going to put you in a situation to be your truest authentic self confident okay the only cup that came out was the three of cups so it has something to do with the people that you're around your relationships all right you have to figure this out who are you in in, in a relationship outside a relationship be confident keep your boundaries up and love yourself it doesn't matter if people are jealous of you that's not your fault if they shit it, it what the hell is there to be jealousy about anyway but you know, you're a Leo. It happens. Um, this is all I see. I see healing as well. Don't pay attention to the naysayers because I see somebody might say something 
to you that might make you cuss them out or something like that. But they, it's like misdirected because they really just want to be your friend. Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Leo. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You look too fucking good, Leo. Damn, you look good than a bitch. So this Capricorn, you could just have Capricorn in your chart. I feel like somebody could be jealous of you, of the hard work you put in. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. You look really good. Ace of Pentacles. So be careful that nobody's trying to trick you out of no money, trying to um, borrow money from you. Trying to get you to spend money on them. You can have Capricorn in your chart. I'm actually Capricorn Moon or you're dealing with a Capricorn. You're very money focused, working on your money. You're, work, you're focused on your appearance, your possessions, items, things like that. I hear don't be too vain, Leo. All right, I hear think outside the box as well. So I see two new beginnings, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords this week. All right. Do you, Leo, in the most positive way? Be confident. All right. Damn. Sagittarius. We're on Sagittarius now. Sagittarius. Be confident. Love yourself. Spoil, spoil yourself. Know your self-worth. You're valuable. All right, Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius this week? The Empress, exactly. Love yourself. You're beautiful. You could be pregnant. Wanting to get pregnant. Knight of Swords. Someone's saying something to you. You're dealing with a Libra. Oh my gosh, the Ace of Cups. Love. Be confident. You do deserve love. This week, you're just super beautiful. Fantastic Page of Cups. Somebody's telling you that they love you. Let's see. Clarify the Empress. For Sagittarius. The Five of Cups. Maybe you're not feeling loved. You got to be confident in yourself. Especially if you're pregnant. You're still beautiful. Even more beautiful. Because pregnant women have that glow to them. You have the Nine of Cups and Justice as well. So you're dealing with the Libra. Like I said, if you're not dealing with the Libra, just in this energy of being balanced, being fair, loving on yourself, spoiling yourself. With this Five of Cups, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like someone could be sad because you're putting more love into yourself than into them. For others of you, someone could be... For others of you, I feel like you're sad because... The Nine of Cups is a self-love type card and you're wishing that an outside person would love you like a, like a person would love you. You're wishing someone would show you that they love you instead of you having to show yourself that you love yourself. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody wants the long term with you. Someone wants the long term with you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like maybe you maybe you were sad because you want your emperor. I mean, the empress don't really need nobody, but shit, the empress would want her emperor some damn time. But I feel like with this Nine of Cups, the universe is giving you more things to be satisfied about. And the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like new love is coming or something else is coming. We have the Ace of Cups here. A baby, a child, a relationship. Clarify the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles for Sagittarius. They want you to be confident. King of Pentacles. Okay, Big Daddy. So you're working on your money. Your person is working on their money. I'm telling you, Sagittarius, you can be dealing with the Libra. We have Justice. But um, clarify the Ace of Cups. Someone is money focused. Eight of Pentacles. You meet, you might meet this love person, love person. You might meet, <laughs> you might meet this love interest at work or in some type of involvement around money. You have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. I hear there's some things money can't buy, and that's happiness, 
Yeah, money can't buy happiness. Exactly. This card said said exactly what I said. We have the five of wands. Um dissatisfied, conflict defeat, um, mind tripping, things like that. Eight of cups, sad, missing that ninth cup, feeling left out in the cold. Money, which there's a lack thereof, can't buy happiness, which there's a lack thereof. But this eight of cups, not happy. Here's the happiness right here. With the sun card, you could want kids. That's what's going on. You want kids. You want a family. This week, you're wanting to expand. If you're single, you're like, man, I'm ready to date. I'm ready to meet my husband. I'm ready to meet my wife. And if you are dating, you're thinking, where is this going? Is this going to lead to marriage? I want a husband. I want a wife. I want children. Clarify the um, Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. The star could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. This love, somebody's going to put the work into it. Eight of Pentacles is a focused type of energy. Um, a repetitive type of energy as well. So this person will do what they need to do to keep this long lasting. Keep this loving and healing and positive and things like that. This is a very good energy. If Whether this is you or this person. Clarify the Page of Cups for Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Wands right here. We have the Ten of Swords, two tens. Clarify the Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So here's two new, new beginnings, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So with this Ten of Wands, I feel like somebody does work a lot, but they work a lot so that they can maintain a family maintain the look and image but i am still getting that same message there are things that money cannot buy all right there are some things money can't buy and that's happiness um clarify this ace of pentacles for sagittarius Eight of Wands, some type of message or communication, some type of travel as well. I hear good news, good news in regard to money. Okay, clarify the Eight of Wands. What's this good news? I'm so nosy. Clarify the Eight of Wands. I saw the Page of Pentacles, a child. I saw the King of Cups. And then the Queen of Cups came out. There's a relationship here. The King and Queen of Cups. I feel like you're going to get what you want. There's that King of Cups. I've just seen him. Oh, well, I can't find him now. I see the Two of Cups, though. Here's the pregnancy right here. This is the pregnant woman, as well as the Empress. So I'm seeing um, be confident. Some of you may not be confident that you can have kids. So you're wondering how you can have kids or adopt. Others of you, you want to be loved. You want to experience the love from a husband, boyfriend, child. The Empress is growth and expansion. She has all those things. So this is what you want. I feel like you're getting what you want. Or the energy is putting it, it's starting to, Put, spirit is putting in motion the things that you want so they're planning it out for you with the wheel of fortune so you could be dealing with an Aquarius Capricorn, Pisces Cancer Taurus, Scorpio Aquarius, Leo, Libra be confident Sag moving on to Aries Okay, Aries. What's going on for Aries this week? Aries. All right. This is for Aries. Ooh. Okay, we have the tower. So just a shock. Y'all saw them cards. We have the tower right here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. What's going on for Aries this week? A shock. A realization, an ending, it's a tower moment, a change, healing, something about an Aquarius, all right, 
some type of exposure. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. Give me one more for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Six of Wands. Something about something getting exposed. So I hear like, then we have the Three of Swords. Somebody might say something online. You might see something online. The truth about a situation online. Clarify the Tower. Have something to do with a Pisces. The hangman. This shock is going to um, really have you stunned. Clarify the tower and the hangman. But you might need to look at it from a different perspective. This is spiritual. As soon as I said that, all of these cards came out. Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor. You. It's something to do with you. Clarify the tower and the hangman for Aries. Eight of Pentacles, something about stability and money. So you might be moving, relocating. Someone is moving, relocating, changing jobs, your a uh, new different contract at work. Clarify the star. A wish or an Aquarius. Clarify the star. Your wish is being granted. If you made a wish. We have the sun and the six of swords. If you want to move, you're moving. If you want a baby, you're babying. Um, <laughs> whatever it is that you wish, this is a wish. So be confident that um, your manifestation is coming. Be confident that your manifestation is manifesting. Clarify the ace of wands. Ten of swords. What is this? We have the lovers right here, a breakup, ten of wands. Okay, clarify the ace of wands and the ten of swords for Aries. Page of swords, some type of news or information that you found out. You found out someone was pregnant, you found out you're pregnant again. Maybe it might not be good news for you. Clarify the seven of swords. The knight of pentacles. I hear, you said you were shooting blanks. Why did I hear that? I don't know. Clarify the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. This makes you happy. The Seven of Swords is... It could be some type of avoiding. So this was supposed to be some type of secret, a surprise. And it's going to make someone happy. But we have the Three of Swords here for some reason. Clarify the Six of Wands and the Three of Swords. For a while, somebody's not happy about your relationship. It could be a hater in the building. Clarify the three of swords. Four of pentacles. Yeah, it was supposed to be a secret. Clarify the three of swords and the four of pentacles. What is this? Nine of wands, judgment. You got back together with your baby dad or baby mom. And people hate that. People just, people don't like I don't know why the fuck people don't like you being with someone. Clarify the Three of Swords and the Four of Pentacles for Aries. Two of Cups. Exactly. You're with someone. Okay? You are with someone. I don't know why this their sadness. So maybe... Aries, you could be... Sorry. For some of you, somebody's trying to trap you with a baby. That's for some of you. Somebody's trying to trap you with a baby. For others of you, the three of swords could literally just be you're healing from a past heartbreak and you're getting new love. But I'm getting some type of weird ass energy underneath this and I'm not sure what it is. Clarify the Three of Swords. The King of Swords. A Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. What are they saying? Queen of Wands. They want to have sex. Clarify the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Judgment. You're getting back together with somebody. The Devil card, Five of Cups. So, for some of you, Three of Wands, 
yeah for some of you y'all are dibbling and dabbling in something that's not healthy but it makes you happy whether it's sex drugs alcohol or whatever the fuck it is you want to do it it makes you happy okay it might not be healthy for you it might not be good for you with the three of swords but it's your dirty little secret you like doing it and i see you doing it for others of you if you want to have some sex that door is opening up we got the devil card right here queen of wands you want some sex you're having phone sex facetime sex as well but it could be with somebody who put you in a third party or broke your heart but i don't see you caring <laughs> mm, secret pregnancies as well this looks like a scandal aquarius i don't know why this popped out in your weekly but damn we got the six of wands and four of wands there's victory and success and happiness and a union some type of connection relationship so i don't know if you rent your house out for a sex house or something like that or you're going you're going to one of those you're going to one of those and you're going to see somebody that you would have never expected to be there you're going to some type of swingers party it's something that you think is a secret that you like doing and you're actually going to get caught doing it it's, it's somebody that you never expected and both of you are going to be like you shouldn't be doing this this is bad for you but you both are doing it all right that's all i have for y'all last <laughs> aries be confident all right i love you guys y'all be safe until i see you again you guys check out all your other readings um you can like share subscribe leave me a comment leave me a love donation book a personal reading with me donate to the channel that really helps me that helps pay the bills that helps that helps me be here more often too and until i see you guys again y'all be safe bye